just uh, out in the garage doing a little tinkering with the Western Electric light plant. Um, as before, I've got my uh, three 12 volt batteries hooked up to the control panel. Um, this time, uh, I have a, a new load to put on the engine. This little guy is a 36 volt um, water heater element. Uh, so I can put a 1200 watt load on the engine. Uh, the generator is spec to be about 1500 watts, so we're pretty close to uh, you know maximum load. Um, in the instruction manual for the engine, they said if you're running resistive loads, not to run it off the batteries because uh, it puts a lot of uh, heavy load on the batteries and would you know, essentially wear them out faster. Um, so you would, if you had something like a clothes iron or something like that, um, or even a water heater, um, you would start the engine and have it running before you switch that load on so that the engine could provide the power for the load versus the batteries themselves. Um, just for a short demonstration here, we have the uh, amp meter. Um, discharge is on the left, uh, it's marked for 50 and 25 amps. Um, when I throw the load switch here, uh, it will power the heater element off of the batteries, and so we'll see a load um, being drawn. This amp meter is actually for the batteries themselves, so it will show if you're charging or discharging your batteries. So I'll just go ahead and throw this knife switch and we'll see a very significant draw on the batteries of about uh, 26, well, a little over 25 amps. Um, and we do get a pretty decent spark when we connect and disconnect that switch. Um, the eventual plan would be to have a main line coming off of the load panel to a secondary switchboard with some better um, switches for switching loads on and off like my little motor here and the heater element. Also, this is a temporary setup obviously with the bucket of water. Um, the final setup and what I'm hoping to have done before the June Cool Spring show is to get a galvanized uh, water trough from Tractor Supply and put a hole in it and mount that permanently so that I can have a little bit more of a reservoir of water to run this a little longer. So what I'm going to do is start the engine off the batteries. Um, once it's running, uh, I have to actually switch the load on. So you'll hear the engine running not under load first. And then I'll put the load on and I actually have to um, depress the start switch a second time to connect the load to the generator and then you'll hear the generator actually uh, come under load. So we'll start with it uh, just starting normally. So this is just a no load um, running at idle basically. So I'm going to throw this switch into battery charge and then I have to depress the starting switch to actually connect the charging regulator which will then power the uh, water heater element. So now we're running under a 1200 watt load. Bubbles coming off the element shows that it is heating up. That's the Western Electric plant under load. <laughs> 